Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm aware that I've been very hit and miss recently. Um, I've got such a backlog of videos um, that I might still share. Goodness me, I just can't keep up with them all. There's so many videos I said I've uploaded that I haven't uploaded. Oh, I'm just I'm just not keeping on top of it. Work has been crazy. Um, but these are all the bits that I've picked up from B&M's and places like that over the last couple of weeks. I just thought I'd lump it all into one big haul, so I'm going to churn it through really, really quick. Um, I have been to B&M a couple of times, so this wasn't all bought in one go. These are bits that I've picked up in dribs and drabs. Um, I did pick up a desk in B&M's. Um, if I see a picture online or something, Carl, I'll insert it now. Um, but Matt actually bought that for me for when we move, and this is to go above it. This te this display wall shelf, it was £10. thought that was an absolute bargain. Um, and then I picked, started picking up Christmas presents already, um, because I spotted these candles, now they're their sweet pear and apple, they're one ninety nine in B&M and they just smelt so lovely, um, so I picked a few of them up, I think I picked up, I actually picked up four but I've given one to my mum already, um, one to put away for my mum, one to put away for my nan and then probably end up keeping the last one, you know what I'm like for a candle, um, I picked up a load of home cleaning products, um, picked up some Vanish, um, so I picked up the Oxy Action, oh! The Oxy Action Colour Safe and the white one, the Crystal Whites. These are on sale in BM for £2.99. Um, apparently, in the supermarkets, they're normally £6. And you do get inside a little scoop as well. So I've picked those up. Um, I picked up a SIF Sainer Still Cleaner. Um, I picked up some Nutridol. I got two of the carpet deodorizers in the fresh pink. That was £1.99. These were a pound each. Um, the Nutridol Bin Odor Neutralizer, which was a pound, um, and then two of the Carpet Fresh, 1001 Carpet Fresh in the Fresh Linen and White Flowers. Um, if you have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that Matt and I are moving. We're still in a chain. It's taken ages, um, but there's certain things that we are starting to get, like they've got a load of carpet down, so we obviously want to spruce that up when we first move in, um, hence this kind of stuff. Um, and while we're waiting in the chain, we might as well buy stuff and put it away. Um, I did pick up some pedal bin liners. This is from my bedroom at the minute. These were a pound for 50 of them. So I grabbed those. Um, then I picked up, well, originally, I saw this aftershave. It's actually really nice. Don't judge, right? This was 4 in b &M, Gold Digger, it's called. It actually smells amazing. This was from Matt. He, he picked it, actually. That was four ninety nine. However, then in the next B&M we went to, we found this. So it's the same aftershave, um, same size as well. But this gift set is five ninety nine. Sorry, I'm really uncomfortable I'm just moving while on video. Um, this is five ninety nine. So you get the shower gel for a pound. And actually, I just thought that was much better value. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm actually returning this. I just haven't been to B&M since um, since I bought that other one. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, this towel. This towel is absolutely beautiful. So it's called Midnight Geometric Hand Towel. Now, I was really hoping that they would do these in bath towels um, or bath sheets, but I didn't see any of them. Just only spotted this in the hand towel. But we thought this would be really, really beautiful in our downstairs loo. That's three ninety nine for this, but it just feels so lovely. They had some really nice dark blue um, bath mats as well, so that was really nice. Um, and I picked up this throw. Um, we know that we're having grey downstairs, and this is you can't see it too well on the camera, but it has got like a paisley pattern. It is really, really subtle. It's massive. It's 150 centimeters, 150, yeah, 150 centimeters by 200 centimeters. Um, there was one open in the shop already. Somebody had taken it out of the ribbon, and it was huge. And it's not too thick, so this is a good like autumn blanket when it's not. Like freezing cold but you just want to snuggle this was 12.99 and honestly i wish you could feel it. it is so so soft um also picked up some paracetamol the soluble ones for someone that was like oh how much were they they weren't cheap actually considering paracetamol you can get for like 40p and stuff these ones were something like £2.50 for 24 of them, which was relatively steep, I think, for paracetamol, but hey-ho. Um, pick this up as a joke present for Matt. Um, if you watch my channel for a while, you know that he is obsessed with Star Wars. Um, I bought him a rubber duck, a Darth Vader rubber duck, ages ago. It's a little colour-changing one. And when we saw this, I was like, that's got to be a stocking filler present for him, a little stormtrooper rubber duck. That was, how much was that? I think that was three ninety. I don't know why I'm asking you. You went there. I think that was three ninety nine. So you get the body wash and the little duck. So that was just a fun little stocking filler present. 
um, I have been to the pound shop and I picked up a couple of books in the pound shop. Um, this one here, Pursued by Treachery, Trapped by Betrayal, it's called Woman of State. It seems to be about the troubles in Ireland, that's kind of the theme for the book. And this one here is about Princess Margaret after the snow. And apparently this lady here, Susanna Constantine, who's the author, apparently she dated Prince Margaret's son, my mum said. I didn't know that when I picked up the book, I just, it sounded kind of cool from the blurb. So if you are interested in those two books, I will just put that there so you can pause it if you want to read them I'm not going to read them for everybody um, but they were a pound each I think you can't really go wrong with a book for a pound because even if you don't enjoy it you've definitely got a pound's worth out of it and then I generally give mine on like I pass them on to people that I know might enjoy them or I give them to the charity shop so I don't feel um too obligated to have to keep them um I also found these Harry Potter sticker books in the pound shop now I might do a little separate flip through of these um, but they are really really cool so they're two pound they're a two pound item in the pound shop um, and you can get these little Harry Potter sticker books you get loads of stationery in there as well um, but I am trying to be sensible because obviously all of our money is going into stuff for the house or Christmas stuff now um, so I didn't pick those up um, excuse the rustling I'm going to tip this out I wasn't going to put this all in one haul but I'm thinking I've got so many separate videos at the minute that are just all over the place it's just better to put everything in one big haul so i have also been to wilco i picked up some face wipes i've never used the wilco face wipes so i picked up the normal and combination lightly fragranced and then the sensitive skin ones they were 50p a packet and um, so i just picked one of each up to try because um, i had no face wipes so i've grabbed those because i need to use them um i picked up this unstoppables air freshener in the sweet dreams um, this was £2 on sale, it smells amazing, I have all of the other unstoppable air fresheners and I couldn't resist this one. Um, and then I picked up four of the three Volutions. Now I have two three Volutions, one at school and then one that's in one of our boxes in the garage that we're going to use for our house, probably in our hallway. Um, so I picked up, these were on sale in Wilco for £2.49, so you've got Blossom and Breeze, Spring Awakening, Cotton Fresh and my personal favourite, Gold Orchid. And for £2.50, they're normally a fiver. I thought that was the, the half price, so I got four for a tenner. So I'll leave a couple at school and then I'll put a couple in our box. And then we also went in that same shopping trip, we went to a shop called One Below. I've never been in there before, and to me, it's pretty much just BM's high bargains with a different name, um, except nothing is more than a pound. Um, but we did pick up an oven cleaning kit because. Um, in our place they're leaving the oven for us so we do want to give it a bit of a clean i don't know how good this will be it was only a pound but so i thought we'll give it a go and it comes with the bag you know we can put the grills in it and also we picked up one more of the paradise peaches of flora because mine's nearly gone and it makes me really sad and this was a pound and because it's limited edition i'm worried that i wouldn't get it again um and as i said i have been using my one so those are the bits that i picked up in Wilco, I'm really running out of room and then I have picked up a few Christmas presents already um, so I'll whiz through those oh and I've also got a couple of things that I bought for school so I picked up these for school they're in a bit of a tatty box um, but these are the false cap document wallets they're not actually those, that's a complete lie they, I don't even know why I'm reading that to you because that's not what they are these are document wallets they look like this um, and you have the the wires and you put um, your documents in there and then it's got the clear perspex sleeve over the top and I bought a box of 50 of them yeah 50 of them so there's 10 black 10 red 10 yellow 10 green and 10 blue I got those on Amazon they are for a project at school I actually specifically needed different colors of them um, I don't need all of these colors however it worked out better value to do it this way than to buy what i needed it was actually cheaper to buy a massive job lot of them so they'll just go in my drawer at school because i'm always using things like that and um, also for school i picked up a few folders so these are from wh smiths i absolutely love these folders the ones with like the rounded edge i can't think what they're called now does it sound the back yeah roll bound ring binders um, and you can get them in the lever arch files as well and these were on sale for what were they i think they're on a deal like three for something that's a bit pulley so i hope that's not gonna fray it's a little bit frayed already oh that makes me sad you gonna focus you gonna show everybody 
yeah that makes me a little bit sad i hope that's not gonna fray um but i picked up they only had three colors they had mint pink and lilac and these are for school i have something specific i needed um three folders for and um, so that worked out perfectly and then in the lever arch I, they've definitely got the mint and they've definitely got the lilac i can't remember if they had pink but they also had lemon but i didn't see any lemon in the the small ring binder ones but i think i feel like they were three four like eight or nine pound or something like that which isn't too bad they're not the cheapest you can get really cheap folders but i really liked those and they're going under my desk and we're seeing them like every day so i wanted them to be really really pretty um and then the last couple of bits are christmas presents for matt he already knows about these so even if he watches this video i don't even know if he watches one sometimes he watches them i don't know um he normally watches them in front of me it makes me makes me all embarrassed bless him i don't know why i'm saying bless him either i'm really rambly today can you tell it's after work you can tell that i'm really trying to just get through all of this because i am shattered it has been one of the longest terms already and we're like halfway through it's insane um i picked him up these pajamas he absolutely loves pajamas now he never used to wear them i am such a pajama girl and um, bought him a couple of pairs and he lives in them now at home so i picked him these up from next they are they feel really lovely quality you can see obviously they were 25 pound for the set just large regular leg and this is just so so soft i might have to go back and see if they do women's versions i didn't even look in the women's section but these are just so so soft and they're not that thick and you can obviously see that they've got the elastic band at the top and the cuffs at the bottom so they'll be really really comfortable for him so i grabbed that and then when we were in burton's there was a bit of a salon and i picked him up he loves a polo um and i picked him up to the same but in different colors so you've got this it's a really dark bottle green it's not really showing very well on camera and then the same polo in black and you can see it's got the little design around the sleeves now i actually saw a different green one when we were in there that i really really liked but when he put it on i mean i have to give it to him he was right it, it, the fit just wasn't as nice but these ones, the fit was just really lovely. They're a little bit tighter on the arms. And I really like the design on the collar. Um, so these are regular price 15. I managed to pick them up for £12. But even at 15 quid, I think they're a really, really good. That's really good value. Um, and I really like this dark green colour. It's just something a little bit different. And especially coming into like autumn, winter now. Those kind of colours are in. And then I think that's pretty much, that's literally what I'm surrounded with. I know it's been like a 12 minute video, but I feel good that I've just kind of shoved it all in one rather than doing loads of little videos. And the only other things that I've got actually on my bed are these. These are shampoo and conditioners, herbal essences. So you've got the passion flower and rice milk, and then you've got the argan oil and Morocco. Oh, they're two conditioners. Oh, my mum. Now, my mum actually picked these up for us um, to put away. Um, but actually she's given us two conditions I don't know if she's noticed that she's done that or not um, I do, I mean Don't you find you tend to go through more conditioner Than you do shampoo? I do I know I probably use two shampoos Every conditioner So this is probably actually A terrible No <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not making any sense am I I go through Two conditioners to every shampoo I use Yes, that's, that's the way round That's the way round I use two of these every time I use one shampoo um, because I just find that I end up putting so much more of this in my hair um, so it might be worth just keeping that and just getting one shampoo and maybe a conditioner for that just to kind of double up on them anyway I think it's probably a good idea that I stop filming now because I don't even know if any of you are still with me probably not my viewers are oh, whoosh, going down but either way, I'm going to end it there. Say thank you, everybody, for watching. If you are still watching, a um, bit of a mismatch of things. Please feel free to ask me anything if I haven't said a price or you just want a bit more information about things. Um, please feel free to comment below and have a good day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.